Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel Yushi Talks and today we are bringing in uh, news about gay adult performer Matthew Camp whose home has been set on fire in suspected arson attack. We have uh, some important details around this case and please watch the complete video and also subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Gay adult performer Matthew Camp says he is trying to piece together what's left of his belongings after a suspected arson attack destroyed his home. The 36-year-old OnlyFans star and owner of LGBTQ clothing store Daddy Couture shared a post on Instagram showing his house in Poughkeepsie, New York on fire. He said that an arsonist poured gasoline on the front porch of my house and set it in on fire in an apparent hate crime. Camp and his roommate Six Carter were both asleep when the attack occurred in the early hours of January 14 but managed to escape before the fire consumed the house. I am alive to face this person one day but everything I have, everything I ever owned is gone, he wrote, shared his story, shared his story because the uh, cure queer people are still under attack all over the world. Our voices will not be silenced. He continued, right now I'm just living day to day trying to piece together what's left. If you are able to help, there's a link in my bio. Thank you for the love and support and continued fight to keep our queer families safe. Both Camp and Carter have started GoFundMe fundraisers to help cover the cost of their belongings. Camp has raised more than $55,000 as of uh, now, while Carter has raised more than $3,500. In his Instagram post, Camp shared a video of the alleged suspect, and both men shared video footage showing someone on the porch of the home carrying what looks like gasoline containers. City of po Poughkeepsie Police told Poughkeepsie Journal that the fire was deliberately set and they were investigating. After the fire was extinguished, fire officials determined that it was arson with police confirming that surveillance footage showed a man approaching the porch and splashing liquid which he proceeded to light before fleeing the area. The fire reportedly burned for 90 minutes although Cam said it was upwards for three plus hours on his GoFundMe uh, adding that it left no personal possessions salvageable inside. In their GoFundMe, Carter said that the pair were woken up by an explosion which allowed them seconds to escape before the entire house was up in flames. Camp had bought the two-story home in October last year. It is known in the local community as the Halloween House due to previously being owned by Church of Satan member Joe Netherworld Mantillo. He said that the attack felt hair driven and revealed that his bedroom was just above the porch where the fire was started. In an Instagram story posted after he shared images of the attack, Cam thanked those who had reached out to him saying he had never felt so blessed. I lost everything but it feels like the, being the luckiest on earth. He said, I'm sorry if I miss a message or comment but no, I'm going to respond as best as I can. I love you. So that's all we have in news uh, today about uh, uh, Matthew Camp's home being set on fire. Uh, please can continue to watch this space for more news and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being with me. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.